What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Lego one half and duo. Basically just got out of my conference call with my company, so the one and stuff they're gonna do a radio show. And I just did a podcast just about maybe about 20 minutes ago about uh, stuff that's going on and the, the LBC before the storm. And I liked it. it was, the chat was good. This time was really fun. Enjoyed it. Thank you all for you know, coming in and enjoying what I have to say. So, about in, basically in the next two minutes or so, the presentation is going to start. So, this is my thoughts from the media kit. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record this now while I'm up. And you can hear that I'm kind of tired and <laughs> my throat's killing me from doing the talking before. But um, I'm going to do this while I'm up now and then upload it and whatever it gets uploaded then it's gonna go live on the channel so the description might be crazy whatever i'm just typing something simple whatever it's gonna go up but anyway let's get to the point of it so in the press kit basically they're they're talking about some stuff but i want to talk about it quickly before you see now i don't guarantee it's going to be in japan so there will be some weird presentation in some cases knowing them but I like we'll see how that works out so with that said uh, let's go to the Nintendo switch uh, I, I'll also do that if you know I, I I want to go away from predictions but I'll say when I'm wrong and I'm wrong so the, the switch launch date is gonna be March 3rd I thought it was gonna be 31st but I was wrong hey I, did, I thought I wanted to wait till the end of the year to start fresh to say start but they want to get that spike before the end of the year maybe that's to to do the shareholders so March 31st now and um, they have different prices of course going around the world but for us in America it's going to be $299 basically $300 so it's going to be $300 and it's going to have the thing with the whole um, it's going to be region free okay all y'all who ask for region free games hope y'all who are Nintendo who, who's bitched and mourn about this please if you're in America please be way more than Sony's 8% please and let's say 1% or buying multiple games all y'all talk that crap the, 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 please do that they're gonna have, they're gonna have an online service uh, right here this, yeah, they're gonna do online service with certain things but they're not going to give the full functionality they're gonna use they're gonna use a smartphone to do the online service okay and it's gonna be paid they have um, they have a, a setup with the Nintendo you know what, what they have right now but it's gonna be a little paid so all y'all also want to pay stuff let me not hear you bitch about it cuz y'all say oh we need to be online blah 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 pay me not really gonna be partaking in that much can't pay for jack squad it's gonna be a free system I'll take that part y'all want to do that go right ahead Hope they don't force it on one of the games I want to talk about, which I also was wrong on in a regard, and I'll I'll get to that in a, in a second. Of course, they're gonna have colors for the Joy Cons. That's pretty cool. They also has the Joy Cons and the game. This part I was right in when I said it. They're gonna have motion control. They're not gonna abandon something that they basically mainstream. So yes, I'm happy that they have motion controls in there. I said it's gonna have it. But whatever. And I happen that the game pro um the, the control pad pro also is gonna have it. So that's pretty cool. Um they're gonna use the battery life is basically well basically what's on the screen right now is more so my prediction, which I would say it's not really too much of a prediction. It, I, I went off of this, and that's what I'm saying. Like I use this as a reference. The price point thing I said between 300 and 350 it is because of this the price um the thing about the battery life i think i said in dr Fuel's podcast is because of this the <clears throat> the movie the x300 mobius is kind of like the nintendo switch so i basically see what they got and kind of like see what would nintendo would do because they will have a larger scale to get things cheaper than these guys so that's what they did it's going to use a type c um, to, to charge the, the, the tablet, which I like. That is good. I'm happy, I'm happy that it's going to do that. <coughs> <Excuse me. coughs> uh, oh, the 
talking on a podcast for for about an hour and a half, and then doing talking for caucus, whatever. But uh, <clears throat> he's gonna have a tight seat, and those things are pretty fast charging and stuff. I know because of my Asus three phone, those things charge very quickly. Give me a second there. <clears throat> so I like that. <clears throat> the Joy Cons have its own. Uh, um, craziness to it which is what which is what Nintendo is known for basically the HD rum, uh, rumble feature where you could tell the difference between what kind of rum, uh, rumble is in there more than what it is more tactile so that's something again Nintendo innovate and went further with so that's pretty cool as well too so and then they, I like I, say, I like how they put all the control. Basically, it, it, uh, this is where I say people said a stupid thing about this is the most u- same control, um, class control as the game. No, this is basically putting all the controls together in a way, and they are. This is not the same. This is putting all the stuff, all the the, wa- the wave bird, the GameCube, the NES, all these things into one controller and, and the Wiimote. This is what Nintendo does, and this is why I like them. But anyway, I digress from that. Let's go to um, so yeah, I mean you have that. Like I said, they have color schemes for the, for the Joy Cons, and that'd be all cool. Now let me get this one. Let's get into the games. I'll get to one thing first. It looks like um, Breath of the Wild, which is gonna be the game. I'm buying it for Wii U, but and I'm kind of salty in this. I'll, I'll admit this. They're gonna have um, the special editions for the Switch. That's messed up. I wish you for. Uh, I, I hope they do it for the Wii U. But for what I'm seeing here, is basically for the Switch for right now. The Wii U might have one, and I hope they do. They do it in the way. But there's two different versions, and the music and everything. Because I would love to have the soundtrack. But again, knowing Kenji, he's gonna send me the soundtrack, whatever the game. So I ain't gonna be that messed up. But yeah. So. We're gonna be uh, so it's gonna be launching the same time around that area, uh, Breath of the Wild. So you have that. So let me jump into this quick. Um, you're gonna have. Let me see here. You have. Uh, so let's go to third party. So Skyrim is gonna be a part of the game. Don't know when it's gonna come out. They still have not say, but Skyrim is gonna be a part of it. Then you have Square. Of course, Square is gonna have its new game, which is. And basically, um, they, they have Dragon Quest 11 and 10. Now, 10 is on the Wii U, 11 is getting made. I hope that, I mean, it's going to be made in Japan, and this is Square Japan, like I was saying before. The, I hope the game gets localized. I like that stupid person we talked to so well about Shannon. It's the difference between region locking and localizing, but okay. I hope it gets localized. But they're gonna have Dragon um, Dragon Quest Heroes, so I hope they get localized as well too on the Switch because the platform is gonna get sold worldwide at launch. So that would be crazy. Um, and then they're gonna have they have their own thing called Octopath Traveler. And looking at the screenshot, it looks kind of um, old school square mixed with new so i like i like that it looks like pretty good something interesting so i'll check it out but like i say uh, looking at the screenshots i don't have no video of this thing it looks 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 like reminiscent of like like i said the old school square like secret of mana kind of style i think that's what um i think vince was asking about there you go that that's the closest you get um so we have that then of course you have ea with fifa what a shocker. Anything new EA? No, but you get your FIFA. Yippee, hooray. For those who want it, it's going to sell very well, I think. So, whatever. But this is also going to launch not only in a lot of the European countries, but launch also in Hong Kong. This is the first time they'll make a Scientemius launch in Hong Kong, which is pretty damn cool, too. Hopefully, they locked it, let me say, the region locked it out. So, I hope they find some way so they don't get priority by China because that's what happened to, to PlayStation 4. So, I hope that don't happen as well, too. So, let's see here. We have also. Atlas is kicking it back in with their own Shin Megami Tensin kind of style. I like that. Oh no no, Octoplay is basically is, is Atlas. My, I think my mistake right there. I, I'm reading too fast from the from my email, so my mistake right there. Um, 
also we have oh as I remember I, as you saw in the last video I ended talking about how Suda loves the game well come to find out Suda has bought has not bought the right to no more heroes but has bought the, the rights to use Travis touchdown so that's why I think he talked so favorably about the switch when he was doing the interview for me too so from my from basically from my understanding he can use Travis touchdown the moment he was still by Ubisoft let's let's hope for no more he was three same thing with Sega I hope that's the same thing as well too so let, you know Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. As well, too. And... Having fun about, you know, we'll see how that works out. Alright, so let's go into the, the the ports thing. Okay, people will talk about the ports. So right now, you're going to have... We're going to have a half. Now, I... I, I it kind of sucks. I'm not going to deny it, if they're going to do this, it, it is, I'll be honest, I call it what it is, it kind of sucks for the, the, the Wii U fans, but it's a new console, it's their new console, so they got to do this, but I, I, we said this is going to happen, that it's going to be a new, um, it's going to be something different, so basically Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch, I hope, I, 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 I will, I will, portray to Nintendo really that they should do a DLC version of this game for the Wii U it, it should get the guys them though you defend that but you do want to sell a console to make money is the business side that's the part that's kind of sucking in a way but they added out a lot of features to it so basically it's all the DLC they had on the Wii U plus you're gonna have the whole thing with new characters new characters even the ink boy ink girl you're gonna have um basically the adding back in battle mode now that i will say is what the reason i will buy the deluxe because of the battle mode thank you thank you they're gonna have basically the under uh, battle mode battle stadium returning with um the glc luigi mansion and the nes battle course so that's pretty damn good dry bone bowser junior splatoon you know blah 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 um now you will carry now they can carry two items all oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass now but you saw that in the reveal to hell and now it's gonna be running at 1080p Ooh, 1080p maybe that 55 59 frames per second hey digital foundry you jerks but before people play anywhere and the game is gonna launch in eight, um april 20th so there's a game right there if, if people want it i think I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be a part of it. I'll get that one. Now they have something called Super Clips, which is basically kind of a, 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 a paper cutout situation. A kind of craft puzzle game with a friend. So, I mean, that one to, is gonna come out in March as well. I could say more about it as action puzzle, and I don't have all I have is one screenshot, so I can't really tell too much about it. Minecraft's gonna be a part of uh, Minecraft's of course gonna be out for all the people and Minecraft people. NBA 2K of course. You're gonna have that. Then you're gonna have uh, Street Fighter 2. Hey Red Fox, there you go. Street Fighter 2 Final Challenge. <laughs> Ultra Street Fighter 2 Final Challenge. There you go. At least this will be more complete than um, Street Fighter 5. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then you're gonna have. Um, Dragon Ball, no, oops, Super Ball Man. I'm, I'm mistaken. Where the hell did I get that from? Huh. I'm reading. I'm trying to read this thing. Super Ball Man R, and it looks like he's going back to the old school. Like again, I want to get screenshots. I can't say, but it says it's gonna be 50 stages. It's gonna be the same Ball Man, photorealistic graphics. So kind of tinge you already on that. But again, without all these just screen, the screenshots, what it is. And it's gonna have story with all the voice acting. That's pretty damn good. I like that. And it looked like you have the all star bow man. I got that bow man zero bull crap. So Hudson Soft, thank you. You're bringing it back up, up the way it is. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, but it's so Konami, you, you don't F this up now. Do not F this up. You need all the help you want. The 
they have another game called Has Been Heroes. Also supposed to come out that at, at once. Game Trust is the publisher. is a strategy RPG game by um by Frostbite. So Frostbite did take it take a shot at it. So hopefully that works as well for them. And last but not least, and then let, let's talk about um. So this is why I made a mistake, huh? I thought it would never do it, so I was wrong. I'm like other people, I would predict when I was right and when I was wrong, so I was wrong. Splatoon 2, that's coming out this summer. They basically added a lot of other stuff, more weapons, Turf War, Ink is, um, two years have passed since the release of the other one, so it's going to release this summer, up to eight players, um, and of course, that's one of the reasons I said the whole joy uh, I said that the game pro controller and the joy can't have that's one of the main reasons I, other than what I, what I showed you with the other stuff it has to have um, gyro because of Nintendo they're not gonna ban it something that like that unlike Sony and Microsoft but new gears new look um, it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy more fun let's see local and online multiplayer with the turf wars so that's even better love the um, the new two they got new trends fresh updates just like the original Splatoon you gotta love that and I have smart wife um, smart I'm using that um, online thing so that's the only thing uh, please Nintendo uh, please have a free version of it because I don't like to look at it that's kind of messed up, but I do like to hold the voice. If you want a voice chat, go to your phone. Tell you because they still do it to Google Plus, you jerks. But that's so Splatoon 2 is coming out this summer. I, I thought that was gonna be an up hands, but uh, like like the Mario Kart Deluxe, 8 Deluxe, but no, there's that. So we have that, and then for those, oh, let's see those. Yeah, Nintendo don't release new IPs. Yeah, so. So let's see what one two switch one two switch looks like the one that like the Nintendo Land and a Wii Sports to show off the console and then, So you will use many he has many things in it. That's gonna come out Basically uses the joy cons more than anything coming from what I'm seeing here on the uh, on the um, The breakdown you don't need the screen face-to-face -face, um, games Stare down your opponent while let's do mic in position Copyright that, um, copycat dance, really, victory, really eat it with table tennis. Okay, yeah. you can take it anywhere, have fun with barbecues, whatever. Oh, and the battery life, like I said, I, I think I said before, but the battery life again went off of what I said was with the Morpheus one. That's why I might guess came off of. So you're gonna have, you're gonna use the HD rumble like I was talking about, the IR motion that's in the Joy Con, and it's gonna launch up right beside, of course, the Switch in March, the March 3rd. Uh, and of course, arms. That's a new IP. Mm. Let's see how this one works. So this one's coming out in spring. Arms look like basically a new, uh, like they took. Um, what, what's my, what's that guy from again? Little Mac. Uh, damn, Punch Out. They took Punch Out and they added a new flavor to it, which looks good. Fight via motion controls. This must be the walking motion controls in those places you guys are talking about. And a select variety of fights. You could have special moves. Uh, you could twist and turn the Joy Cons to do punches. Everybody has their own style. Good. It's going out this spring as well. So there you go. Another game's coming out that that a new IP from Nintendo people. So let's now play that 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 dumb game, of course. Of course, you got an extra set for this is the big chronicles. These are second party games, or whatever. My hat is going out to there's gonna, you know, I got them. Here's the thing I, that means I gotta beat Zeno Blade the freaking one, which I have. I know the story, I, I understand the story, and I, I figure out what happened in. But now I gotta go Zeno Blade, they're doing Zeno Blade 2 instead of Chronicles 2. Hopefully, they'll be working on Chronicles 2 because of the uh, because of the X in it. But Zeno Blade 2, there you go. So Zeno Blade 2. It doesn't look, I don't see nothing about with Shulk in here, so I, 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 you know, we'll see what happens. Bring Shulk back in or whatever, but Xenoblade 2 is there, and it looked like, uh, so far, it look, I predicted this, but I kind of predicted something else too, and so I'll say I was wrong on something, but it could still happen, but Anderson looked like they're going to have Fire Emblem Warriors, 
we said it, the, the next the place the, the next thing that we will take to use this will be fire emblem really because the characters so koi techno scholar fire emblem warriors but there's no hyrule warriors um legends thank goodly in a way it's like whoo in a way and then in a way it's like i kind of wish you had it but yeah i have not i don't see anything here for mario uh for super smash brothers deluxe I won't be surprised if they put that they, they, they will pull it out because they might take some while to work on that. So it's not in the press release right here, but I think it's gonna be. And of course, the big game. Too bad it's not. It's not gonna be on the launch. I hope it was, but it's gonna be in the holiday season. It's the game that you see, the game that everybody was talking about, and you saw on to, to Sprite. He's saying about, oh, this is not gonna happen. Well, it's happening. Mario Odyssey. Uh, basically they're taking Mario and from a screenshot he's going in the world like they're gonna put real world aspects and whatever and it looks like the new power now is the the, the the hat you could throw his hat like a boomerang oh, okay so you could throw his hat like a boomerang um, you could use it to, to you can use it as a way to do jumps because you can stand on it that's pretty cool and it and they're basically taking some of the, the roles from some of the parts from Super Mario Galaxy and and um, the black, I mean okay that's pretty cool right there. Re I'm reading this thing for the first time right now. This far down I never read this far down because I got it and I was just busy. So that looks pretty cool and it looks like I have an open heart world like Super Mario uh, Sunshine. And it's gonna be really uh, it's graphically intensive for the, for them. So that's pretty cool. So Mario Super Mario Odyssey. This is the, the, the basically going to be the holiday ender for the Switch. So there you go. So it's uh, and it, that's that's the Nintendo Switch press release. They might add some more stuff to the, the presentation, of course. So I hope you guys enjoy the presentation. Me, I'm taking my black butt to sleep. So enjoy it. And hey, like I said, I. I this is gonna be a console. Uh, I'm thinking people's gonna pre-order this thing. Me, I'm not. Still, I'm gonna wait, but I am gonna still get Breath of the Wild for a thing. I hope Nintendo puts a uh, they give the, uh, a, a cool special edition other than for the Amiibo thing, like the, the Amiibo thing special edition. I hope so, please, because this looks pretty, the way you set this up for the thing is pretty damn good. But other than that, wish y'all a good night. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. And remember, I oh, I actually done about that VR in here. Ooh, okay. But anyway, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. And remember, the LBC is never gonna stop. People are gonna still do stupid articles, IGN, parties on uh, uh, even after this. Oh, oh, so, oh no, they're using they're using clunky controls again. Blah blah blah. Yeah. They, Controls that works just like Star Fox. The control works, but you guys just don't want to learn. Well, they force you again to learn the freaking thing. Learn it, you bastards. Other than that, I wish you all the best. There's no perfect game out there. Was perfect use not perfect to me. Was perfect use not perfect to you. Slippery enjoy the games on all consoles. And remember that. Remember, I, I, I might link the video uh, behind this, like in the car, or whatever. Remember, guys. Remember, remember my song, Switch. Switch, switch it up, man. Switch, switch, switch. <laughs> anyway, catch y'all later. Peace.